Uh, welcome to a new video and look what Huawei sent me here today. A bunch of stuff that I want to unbox right now. So let's get started. So this is the stuff that arrived here from Huawei. We have a Huawei Bluetooth mouse here. Then we have the Huawei M Pencil second generation then we have microsoft 365 single version and then we have the star of this show huawei matebook e and not only the huawei matebook e but also the huawei smart magnetic keyboard compatible with the huawei matebook e so let's get this unboxed here in a quick like sequence i start i think with this one here which is i think one of the easiest packaging to open up the tablet itself A 65 watts power charger, USB-C to C. USB-C to USB-C cable. And some documentation and warranty card. Huawei Smart Magnetic Keyboard, compatible with the Huawei Mate Boogie. Nice keyboard with a German keyboard layout. Pretty nice click and also a clicky touchpad. Uh, that's the star of the show, the MatePad, the MateBook E. Looks almost and feels almost like a MatePad. Uh, it comes with Huawei Sound. This is the Intel Core i3 version. There's also a Core i5 version sold globally. And I think there's also in China a Core i7 version uh, that you can buy. We have a 13 megapixel back facing camera here. And of course, on this very large 12.6 inch OLED screen, we also have a front-facing camera. In terms of ports, we have, or connectors or buttons, we have a volume rocker here. We have a power button with integrated fingerprint reader. And we have USB Type-C port here for charging. Thunderbolt 4, I think it is. We have some Pogo plug pins here for attaching to the keyboard. So here's how you put it into the magnetic uh, case. You can see the instructions on how to do it and how to put the tablet in. So what I have to do is just get this like this, get it in an angle that I want to have. And then I just put in uh, the tablet itself and it's now holding pretty nicely here. And uh, yeah, I will plug in the cable on the side. There you see it. Start light, it starts lighting up, as you might see there, there's a LED light next to the camera and uh, now it's solidly on and the Huawei logo is there and you can see the typical Windows loading because this one really comes with Windows and uh, I think it is uh, Windows 11 just a moment and it will boot up and there we are greeted by windows 11 we can choose whatever language we want to have 
Okay, English United Kingdom is fine. But I'm not in United Kingdom. I can choose uh, Germany probably somewhere. There we go. And the keyboard layout I want to have is also German because this is really a German keyboard layout that I have here. Uh, do you want to add a second keyboard layout? So I can add a second keyboard layout if I want to switch, but for now I say skip. And I can connect to my network, which I will do now. And I have to say, first time typing on this keyboard, it's a bit loud, plasticky, but it feels good. It doesn't feel as smooth as on the MatePad 11, I have to say, the keyboard, but it is definitely a better keyboard because you have bigger keys on the keyboard itself which is pretty nice. Let me show you the keyboard. There we go. So typing, typing experience here, my fingers, you can see that the keys are much larger than the keys on the MatePad 11 keyboard, for example. We can see we have much smaller keys here in comparison to here. Well, even though this doesn't feel, this feels more, and this here, bit more sophisticated, a bit more travel on the keys itself as well, which is pretty nice. So Windows is doing its thing. We know it from Windows here, just a moment and restarting and so on. So in a few seconds, probably we will land on a freshly Windows 11 desktop. And now it is asking me if I want to use the fingerprint uh, sensor to yeah, have a more security setup. I'll just say yes to see how the experience here is. So touch your finger on the fingerprint sensor. So let's do this right now. Reminds me a little bit of Android, so they don't do magic here. And I'm trying to change the position of my finger slightly. Now I got it. That's all you set and go. I cannot add another fingerprint. I can set up a pin if I want to set up a pin. Why does it always take like ages? This might take a few minutes. Don't turn off your PC. You already see already this glorious OLED display. It's really the blacks are really black. Let's make it a little bit darker so you can probably see it a bit better. Uh, there you go. So it's really, really cool. The blacks are really, really dark. And on the sides here, on the edges, I don't see much of where the black of the edge of the screen begins and the touch panel or the screen backlit, the OLED ends. Of course, you can see it on the top. And now if it's like pulsing a little bit and getting more blue, then you can see it as well. What I already hear in this like long process is that there is a cooling fan here on the top, probably. You can see here these vents, these openings here, these openings there. Why is the focus not focusing? There we go. This openings here, there's a fan. There's a fan house in there and it's really running. You can hear it a little bit. It's not pretty loud, but yeah, you can still hear it. And now, there we go. Windows 11 is here. It starts up with the start menu, which, uh, yeah, high start menu, high Windows. And can I use the mouse? Yes, I can use the mouse even to navigate here around uh, Windows. This should be Windows 11 something. It looks at least like Windows 11. And uh, oh. today, apps and features, system. How about system? And I can learn about the system. That's the system, uh, the MateBook E, 11th gen, Intel Core i3, 11, uh, 10 G4 at 1.8 gigahertz. And um, there you can read it. Uh, up to 2.5 gigahertz, 8 gigabytes of RAM installed here. And uh, Two finger scrolling is working, but it's like reverse scrolling, like almost every new PC is doing. And uh, yeah, and this PC, yes, and we have uh, roughly 155 gigabytes already taken of uh, 100 gigabytes that are here. 
um, one partition only. Um, this is how right click menu looks like. Uh, it's a bit weird coming from Windows, from older Windows versions. But here you can see, yeah, 43 here, it now shows 43.6 gigabytes used and free space 55.9. Uh, so it's like showing the free space, not the used space, okay. So 43 gigabytes used already. This is Windows 11 apparently. And uh, yeah, looks okay to me. And what do we have installed here? We have Microsoft, we have uh, Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint. We have a mail app, a calendar app. Let's take a look at what this is. Looks like could be a Huawei, Huawei's own mail app. I'm not sure, to be honest. Don't see any way to figure this out. There's a calendar app here. It looks like it might be Huawei's own apps here. Then we have Microsoft Store, we have Photos. And here I think I can at least look at the setting. This, this looks like a Microsoft app. Uh, Microsoft Photos, apparently. And we have Spotify. Twitter is already there. We have a camera application. Okay. This is using the front-facing camera. You can see me recording with my P50 Pro. And I can take even videos if I want to. I wonder if I can set the resolution or something. So 8 megapixels photo quality and video quality can go up to 1080p 60 frames per second, which is nice. So I can do 60 frames per second even if I want to. Flicker reduction is on. And uh, yeah, pretty nice. This is also a Microsoft app. And it's cropping in a little bit, I think, in 60 frames per second. Yeah. And let's switch the camera to the back camera. I'm now in photos mode, not the back camera. Where do I switch? Here, I switch to the back camera. The main camera. And here you can see other stuff that is on my television table. And the main camera, I also have the settings. And I can go up to 4K 30 here on the main camera on a tablet. Isn't that cool? And you can even activate digital video stabilization. Uh, which is also pretty cool. So you can record videos with this one. So maybe I will record uh, a clip. So this is a little test and you can see it's cropping in a little bit uh, on the Mate uh, Book E here. Uh, Front-facing camera 1080p 30 frames per second. It can go 1080p 60 frames per second but crops in a lot there. I hope the sound quality is okay here and yeah this is everything for this test. Does it have autofocus? No, it doesn't have autofocus. I think only mm, not the best cam here, I would say. So, and this is now a recording with the back facing camera, 1080p, 60 frames per second. And what you hear, by the way, is the uh, internal microphone of this uh, Huawei MateBook E. What do you think about this one? I think in uh, brighter daylight situations, this one is a good camera. The front facing camera is also okay. I think for the usual video chat that you might use it, it is good enough. Uh, what apps do we have here? We have Microsoft Office, of course. We have Clipchamp. I think it's a... Uh, let's click on it. What is it? What is it doing? I don't get it. We have a to-do app. Looks like this, Microsoft to-do. Also, Microsoft has a lot of applications. Of course, I have also touch to click. I don't have to have far press to click. There's Disney Plus, there's Spotify, there's Twitter. Uh, Clipchamp is now again there, but I'm not sure what it does. Ach, it's the loading bar or animation. So it is downloading stuff. So it's not really installed. You can see this little bar here. And I think it's an indicator for that it's downloading the application right now. So it's not even installed. So let's get Clipchamp opened. Ah, yeah, now it's Clipchamp is open. So it was downloaded. It's a free video editor and uh, more. Clipchamp, it's called. I've never used it. Probably if you're a Windows user, you might know it, but you need to sign up and log in. This is like a bit, ugh. why? <laughs> anyway, Twitter is now also installed. If I click on it, Twitter is started and it's 
it looks like a web app to me yes it is probably yes it is a web app um, that is running here well at least we have twitter here there's solitaire do we have anything else prime video tiktok instagram probably also web apps facebook Microsoft OneNote, Calculator, Tips, Films and TV, File Explorer, Microsoft Paint and Notepad, and Alarms and Clock. Alarms and Clock also had to be installed. Ooh. <laughs> Interesting. Huawei PC Manager, S Mode, Huawei Keyboard App, Huawei Pen App, Huawei PC Mode. Okay, smarter way to experience your PC. Download now. To use the full version of Huawei PC Manager, exit S Mode and try again. I'm apparently in Microsoft Windows S Mode. Yeah, now you are all set, switched out of S mode, and we can use everything. Maybe this was the issue, it would be uh, super stupid. So let's first download uh, Microsoft Edge. Ay, ay, ay. So I have to download the newest version of Huawei PC Manager, apparently. I have to say, this experience is far worse with uh, Microsoft Windows than with uh, Huawei's own Harmony OS operating system. And I still don't have the pen working. And uh, now I had to switch out of S mode. Now it shows me connect here. Holy moly. Huawei, why is your tablet in S mode? Now the pen is showing up here. And I can probably use it to, yes, ah, to scheiße. So Huawei, um, you ship your windows in S mode, which makes your accessories not work 100%. What the fuck? I mean, okay, now that I did this, uh, you don't have to worry about it. But yeah, this is what you can expect. So this one is working now. Do we have any app for, for using this? Maybe OneNote. And create a and new uh, test notebook. And there I can create some notes and I can write hello. World, I think it works pretty nicely and it's pretty fluid. I think it's more fluid than on the MatePad 11, I have to say, or MatePad Pro. At least it feels like this. And can I as a snipping tool? So if you double tap here, you have like uh, have the option to take a screenshot. Apparently, it's, uh, running the pen is working nicely, and the only thing I have to try out now is it's charging. Even is the Huawei Bluetooth mouse that we can try out as well. Maybe don't have like this nice little flap. I have to open it up with a knife. Be careful, don't do this at home. There you go. That's a pretty neat mouse, I think. It's a bit louder than the Logitech mouse that I have here, which you don't hear. It's a silent one. This is a bit more clicky. The wheel is a bit small, but feels nice. You don't have any left or right wheel actions. And uh, it's interesting. How is this going to work? I have to get this sticker off, I think. There's an on-off switch there and... Yes, I have to get rid of the sticker, I guess. Yeah. There we go. Just a, an explanation. There's an on-off switch and here the... Uh, so, here's the explanation stuff that's on top of it. 
and we have like the on off switch we have the sensor itself and we have the option bluetooth pairing up to three devices which is pretty nice and uh, pretty self-explanatory does it have any battery inside let's take a look at what's inside here so we have a battery as it looks like so there is a battery and you can take this out somehow maybe the battery one battery not even one battery cell here excel alkaline battery how do i open this up it's written here somehow only on off and the explanation how do i open this bad boy up ah just lift the case up which is like hold it uh, holds magnetically pretty nice not bad and then i have to put it in that's basically it pretty easy case on top turn it on it's automatically in bluetooth search mode for device one and it's appearing here nice i can connect it's i think a feature of uh, huawei not of microsoft windows what you will see so bluetooth mouse now connected and yeah i can use it you can see the mouse cursor let me uh, minimize this now you can see the mouse cursor working and i can go oh microsoft edge i forgot i have to double click i can just scroll around here through the microsoft news with the wheel as well and this one of course has not the natural scrolling but the uh, the normal scrolling i would say so so yeah this is working and uh, that's the mouse and there's of course some paper material as well for the mouse there's nothing to charge the mouse with so unlike the pen that has a battery or a rechargeable battery it automatically charges if you connect this one does not and yeah it's a warranty and instructions manual probably that you have here so some paper material so this is my first impression of the huawei mate book e and the package that i got here so far i will test this out of course and will give you some more impressions uh, later on of the mate book e from huawei so far i think i like it it's a bit confusing to get uh, to know windows here in its 11th uh, version with some of the limitations that i encountered that you saw here right now as a non-windows user so this was new to me what do you think about this one if you have some questions write it down in the comment section that's everything for this video hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching until the next time bye